What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on WWE SummerSlam 2019. As usual, I have all the matches right in front of me, so let's get right into this. Up first, we have the Cruiserweight Championship match, Drew Gulak versus Lorkin. For this one here, I'm a fan of Lorkin. I think he's doing great things in the ring. Drew Gulak, though, I am not a fan of. I've expressed that before. So for this one here, it's very easy for me. My final prediction is going to be that Lorkin is going to win the Cruiserweight Championship. Next up is Goldberg versus Dolph Ziggler. Honestly, last week on Raw, I was expecting for it to be Dolph Ziggler versus Shawn Michaels, which would have been epic. But Goldberg versus Dolph Ziggler is a little odd. I think Goldberg can easily beat Dolph Ziggler. But if Dolph Ziggler can actually pull off a win, I think that's going to be pushing him for main event in the future. So for this one here, it could go either way. I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to say Dolph Ziggler is going to win. I think he's going to have tricks up his sleeves or he's going to have some help. But my final prediction is that Dolph Ziggler is going to win. Next up is Trish Stratus versus Charlotte Flair. Honestly, I was hoping Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss because that's something that I think it was back at the previous SummerSlam or maybe it was Evolution. They were supposed to face each other, but Alexa Bliss got injured so she could not be in that match. They turned it into a tag team match without Alexa Bliss. For this match, honestly, I was hoping for it to be one-on-one -on -one versus Alexa Bliss, but it's against Charlotte Flair, which as you guys know, I already don't like her. So of course, the legend Trish Stratus, I'm hoping that she wins. That is my final prediction for this match. Next is the United States Championship match, AJ Styles versus Ricochet. Honestly, I'm loving this match. Uh, I love that they have the little rivalry going on right now. I think it's really cool, very high-flying, very epic. But the problem is with AJ Styles and the club teaming up once again, I feel that AJ Styles is going to have help in this match and that AJ Styles is going to retain the United States Championship. As much as I want Ricochet to win it, which is what I really want to happen, I feel that AJ Styles is going to win, so that's going to be my final prediction for this match. Next up is Finn Balor, which I'm hoping he is the Demon Finn Balor for this match, versus The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. So for this one here, Bray Wyatt is just returning. He has a lot of momentum going for him, but if it is the Demon Finn Balor that he is facing, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens and what happens during the course of this match with both of the gimmicks being very similar, but also very different. For this one here... I'm going to say Bray Wyatt is going to win just because he's coming into in-ring once again. And I think having a huge win at SummerSlam against Finn Balor, I think would be a good step in the right direction. So my final prediction is that Bray Wyatt is going to win this match. Next is going to be Kevin Owens versus Shane McMahon. Once again, we've seen this match before, but it was for the championship before back on SmackDown. So to have these two face each other once again is very unique, but as you guys know that WWE likes to recycle old rivalry matches, so to have these two face off, it makes sense because that's what WWE likes to do, is recycle old matches. So, for this one here, since Kevin Owens has a lot going for him right now, Shane McMahon, I'm not a fan of him. Like Kevin Owens has been saying, I really wish that they've been pushing other people instead of Shane McMahon, because it is Shane McMahon. They need to give the younger talent some more opportunities, and that's what Kevin Owens is representing in this match. So... My final prediction for this match is hopefully that Kevin Owens is going to win this match. Next is the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Bailey versus Ember Moon, which is an awesome match. On one hand, we have Bailey who won the Money in the Bank briefcase and cashed it in to become the champion. But we also have Ember Moon who came up from NXT and honestly, I'm hoping she earns a championship very soon. So this match here, I don't care if it goes either way. I'd be okay if Bailey were to win. I'd be okay if Ember Moon were to win. But for this one here, I'm just going to say my final prediction is Ember Moon. I'm just going to risk it and say Ember Moon just because I feel like it could go either way. But either way, I'm going to be happy. But I do need to make a prediction for the match. So my final prediction is Ember Moon. Next up, like I was just saying for Kevin Owens versus Shane McMahon, WWE likes to redo old rivalries so we have the wwe champion kofi kingston versus randy orton which back whenever randy orton was with legacy which is cody rhodes and ted dibiase jr uh kofi kingston and randy orton had a rivalry so this was a long time ago but now that kofi kingston is the wwe champion randy orton is facing him i'm a fan of randy orton 
But the fact that Randy Orton is healed now, I'm iffy on. I do like certain scenarios, but for this one here, I'm hoping Kofi Kingston retains. But I feel like Kofi Kingston's reign as champion isn't going to last too much longer. But I also don't feel like Randy Orton is going to be the one to win because I don't think WWE is going to be pushing Randy Orton to be champion really soon. I think if anything, Randy Orton is going to be facing Seth Rollins or Brock Lesnar or something like that to win the championship. I think that would be cool. But to face Kofi Kingston, I just feel like there's other people on SmackDown that deserve that opportunity and that will get that opportunity. So my final prediction for this match is going to be that Kofi Kingston is going to retain. The next match is the Raw Women's Championship match, Becky Lynch versus Natalia. This is going to be a submission match, which I honestly can't wait. Natalia is a Canadian. I'm a Canadian, so I've always been a fan of hers. But Becky Lynch is the man. She is on fire lately. She is dominating everything. So for this match here, I'm going to say that Becky Lynch is going to retain the Raw Women's Championship. That is my final prediction for this match because she's been on fire lately and I see her winning this match. In the last match, the main event is Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Honestly, I want Brock Lesnar to go away from the WWE. Holding the championship hostage is a very big disadvantage for the WWE. And it doesn't help the WWE any because their champion isn't on every week. To me, if you are the main champion for the show, the biggest champion for the show... You should be there every single Raw. You should be there every single pay-per-view. Maybe not de defending it all the time, but at least making appearances, having matches, and showing your face. That's what a champion is. Not necessarily a fighting champion as if, as in you are defending your championship all the time, but a fighting champion as in you're proving yourself week in, week out, and proving that you deserve to be the champion, which is something that Brock Lesnar just doesn't do. So for this match, I'm hoping that Seth Rollins wins, and I'm hoping Brock Lesnar goes away for a lot longer than he previously did. So my final prediction is that Seth Rollins is going to win the Universal Championship once again. So these are my thoughts and predictions on WWE SummerSlam 2019. Hope you guys liked this video. Comment down below what your predictions are, and I am going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.